So, then you guys didn't see me get to clean up the other side. I just wanted to show you how I do do it. I got my duckbill shears here. Some people call them napping shears. Some people call them duckbill shears. Any of that, any of that mess like that, all them loose fibers, you can see all the loose fibers there. Um, I just take and trim all that stuff off. If the backing is sticking way out, see all that backing with no fiber? Watch this. I'm just cutting it right off. Cut all that mess off. It don't matter if you cut the fibers off or not. Look. Now look at the difference. Where I have cleaned and where I have not cleaned. And I'm working my way that way. And I'm still going to have plenty of carpet to stretch up to fix to uh, solve this problem here which will be not an issue at all look at the difference that makes so just get all those little nylon strings cut them off okay there we go so now that's that's ready to go that's a lot but this is a used carpet it is going to stretch up and um we're fixing to do it right now i just wanted you to see that cleaned up how I clean that up and then I'll show you I'm now I'm going to go through the same steps I did a while ago vacuum all that out clean it all up real good and then hot melt it down and go through the same process as I did a while ago to restretch the other side of the same room and I just wanted to point out what that side looked like before I started look at the raveling of the back look, look at it I mean just all the little uh, nylon fibers sticking out that is exactly what the back looked like. And I just took my snapping shears, my duckbill shears, and trimmed all the loose off, and then it was a nice clean edge. And again, this center is probably gonna be the worst out of all of it. So I'll do the center first, and then I got plenty of plenty of room to stretch over here because Ben I did work the room at an angle of that direction. So I just wanted you to see what that looked like before I started working on it. That's exactly how that side was. I'm so sorry that it's a little loud in here right now. Um, I got other guys working in the house here too, and I just can't make them stop. But this is really important, and I wanted wanted you guys to see this. I hope that you can hear my voice over the jackhammer. But as you can see, I do have it all cleaned up along the edge. I've tucked it out and everything like that. Since the center is the worst of it, and you can see the back in there, like I said, even if you stick that up on them pack trucks, it's just not going to hold. So, since the center, if you take a look back like this, the center is the furthest part that needs set. So, I'm going to want to start right there first, and then I'll just work my way around down to that. So. I'll, I'll set the camera down and you can see exactly what I'm going to do Anyway, he stopped that camera in there. So what I'm going to do I'm going to get it stretched up far enough here and I'm going to take my Pam gun and I'm going to adhere this The backing and the carpet I'm, once I get it stretched up here far enough I'm going to I'm going to glue that to the tack strip there and that's going to bond that back to the backing and to the tack strip So we're not ever going to have it to have to worry about it coming loose again. Okay? Break. Yeah. The jack is work. Rough, rough, ain't it? Are you gonna be stopped for a minute? Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna put this on then that way I can see better. Okay, so we actually got enough right there, but I am going to get just a little bit more. That way I've got something to trim, and I'm not just trying to uh, shave off that little rough stuff, okay? Okay, there we go. Now I got about a half or three quarters of an inch over, over that. So now... I'm gonna take my Pam gun and everywhere that that's good enough, I'm gonna go ahead and just put me a bead of glue down there and uh, make sure, like I said, that it don't 
this is going to strengthen the back of the carpet since it's all chewed up like that and plus after I get this done then I can squirt some latex sealer down in the gap before I uh, before I trim it and tuck it so what I want to do I'm just want to hold that on there just for a couple minutes to make sure that gets good and stuck before I let off the stretchers okay And as you can see, the rest of it, it ain't going to take much pressure. This end is pretty good. I'll just have to stretch a little bit. Have to do a little bit more stretching down here where it's still a little bit short. But the worst of it was the center, so that's why I chose to start with the center first. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and release and see if that's gonna hold. I got my hands on it just in case. Okay, looks like it did hold. It pulled just a little bit, but that's okay. You see, I still got plenty to work with. Okay, so since that's good, I'm gonna come on down here and do the same thing there. Should just have to get one more stretch this direction. And have it ready to go okay see there that's plenty even after all the bad stuff is trimmed off that's plenty so we're gonna go ahead and take our jet tack i mean our uh, pam gun again and do the same thing as we did right there let's see here make sure that sticks to the tack strip real good since it's all worn out Give that just a little trim so that'll go up there a little more. Finish off this end right there. Okay, so that's all good. Now, again, I'm just going to hold it. Let it set up for just a second. And it'll be ready to uh, put some sealer. Put some sealer on it. I hope I got this camera at the right angle there. Anyway, it'll be ready to put some sealer down in the crack there and go ahead and cut it and tuck it. If it needs any cutting, it'll be ready to go. And even though the backing was separating and stuff like that, this is going to hold up just like it was new carpet because of the Pam glue. Um, stuck the backing and the fibers and the tack strip all together as one now. So we're not ever going to have to worry about that coming loose for sure. I have glued down carpet to tack strip like that before and trying to pull it back up you'll actually pull the tack strip up with it or the tack strip will just split in the middle and you'll pull the top layer of it up. It works really well. Okay, I'm, it's been there for a minute. I'm going to hold my hands on it. Get the stretchers up. Okay, just fine. One more time. Get this other side. It's not going to need much at all over here. Maybe something, maybe just a little bit if you can see that. Okay. There we go. Let's go ahead and put some jet tack down there. I mean, I keep wanting to call this jet tack Pam glue. Gonna hold that for a second. Let it set up real good. And I'll go get my bottle of sailor and I'll let you see the process of uh, trimming it and tucking it and see how it turns out once I get done. 
I'll let you watch the whole whole thing here. I thought this was pretty important because you do see that quite common in carpet. <clears throat> so let me get my sailor real quick. This other doorway is actually the same way. But if you see this wrinkle here, it's because I actually already stretched this room that way. I started on that side and came this way. So that's why I chose to do that side first because I was pulling away from this wrinkle. Now I got plenty to work with to fix this doorway here. Okay, so I think that's actually gonna be pretty good there. It looks like it's pretty good if I just uh, seal it and pack it all the way down through there. So let's give it a go. And I like to go right to left, preferably it works better for me. And if the people had done this right here, this little two, might be a two minute little deal with the, with the sealer, this carpet would not be in this shape to begin with. That's why I highly recommend using sealer at all tile, at all small doorways say uh, little uh, tracks to closets anything that's not very high to work to just seal it it's gonna forever prevent it from coming up okay, okay let's check it out one again grab the nap and push it out of the way and pack it grab the nap and push it out of the way and pack it that's how you always want to work to tile I think I showed that in a video before where if you just do that it looks like real, looks like looks real bad. So you want to pull the nap back and push the back in. Okay, don't take a whole lot of sealer. Look how well actually got a little heavier right there, it looks like, because uh it got uh it got I'm almost out of my bottle. Had to go refill it. I bought the stuff by the gallon, so I had to go refill it. So uh, it started pooping on me there when I was about done. Okay. All right. Grab it. Check for any loose fibers or anything like that and just give it a little work all the way down through there again this right here you can see that just a tad but it's got that sealer down there Oops, I'm sorry about that so it's not ever going to come up anyway because it's going to seal it you know what latex is like rubber so once it grabs a hold it's like a rubber band pulling down on this carpet constantly Okay, so I done bent over those three or four times and they're still not wanting to tuck. So what I'm going to do is take my napping chairs. I'm sorry I'm rushing. I'm trying to get this done because I think I might be holding this guy up from using his jack hammer in here. So. Okay. All right. One more there. I'll just cut that off too. And I think that's going to be good. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Same steps, okay? I just wanted you guys to see that. That's not... Okay, so this is the doorway directly across from the other doorway that I did. And it was about an inch bow right there in the center. I just wanted you to see that after stretching that up an inch and getting all of that fixed right, that this was not affected whatsoever. Still got a nice clean edge and everything after stretching an inch back the other way to make that right.